I am uh, Keith Knutz, and I'm a member of the Department of Immunology uh, and uh, was based for several years, actually, in, in Mayo Clinic, Rochester, and recently moved down here. Uh, and my whole f the focus of my laboratory over the past 12 years has been on the development of breast and ovarian cancer-based immune therapy approaches, specifically the development of vaccines to prevent recurrence and even prevent the disease from occurring in these individuals. So a vaccine is a, is a type of a drug that's given to individuals to stimulate the body's immune system to fight infectious diseases usually. In more recent times, we've been developing vaccines for the treatment and prevention of a variety of different kinds of cancers. The work that we're doing in developing vaccines is primarily focused on preventing cancer. Uh, breast cancer. Breast cancer is a huge economic burden in the United States. There's several hundred thousand cases per year globally, a couple hundred thousand, 240,000 specifically in the U.S. Now breast cancer is a disease that we typically catch early in the course of the disease and it's treated with surgery, chemotherapy, other types of modalities. And then it's a wait and see game. Is it going to come back? We're pleased that we have uh, developed a new vaccine and received funding from the Department of Defense. And so this one is based on the subset of patients that express HER2 new, which is a protein which is associated with aggressive disease in a subset of patients with breast cancer. But we're taking a very unique approach here. So we ultimately want to move our vaccines into primary prevention. We want to give these to healthy individuals so that we can actually prevent the development. We have this vaccine, it's based on HER2 new, so it targets that subset of breast cancer patients, but we're actually going to, in, in a, to a very early form of breast cancer called DCIS. And that's about 60,000 women per year just in the United States. So our goal is to determine whether or not the vaccine can see very early disease and to get rid of it. And so we'll be delivering the vaccine to patients that actually have DCIS prior to surgery. And the hope is that we can understand fundamental biologic questions as to whether or not the vaccine can see the disease early enough to be useful in the prevention setting.